A dead body was found in a shallow grave in Ogahong, Valencia Negros Oriental at 6.20 p.m. of July 19, 2022. The victim is Juan Maribel Vera Glazer, 32 years old of Santa Rosario Heights, June of Belmaguete City. Police initial investigation revealed that the victim was missing since July 15, 2022. After days of no contact, her friends took the initiative to locate her until they arrived in one of their properties in Valencia. A report of the foul odor was observed in the vicinity and was immediately reported to the local police. The police is now looking to a possible person of interest. Her strange husband identified as Daniel Lawrence Glazer, 55 years old and American citizen. Bella is a graduate of the College of Nursing Silliman University, Batch 2021, and currently connected as a staff nurse in one of the hospitals in Tomagete. The body is now an advanced state of the composition and lies at the eternal funeral homes. The suspect and person of interest in the brutal killing of Filipino nurse voluntarily surrendered yesterday to the National Bureau of Investigation in Dumaguete City after the cutting where the victim was found inside the property of the victim in San Bang, Valencia. The NBI identified the suspect as American Daniel Lawrence Glazer, 55 years old, husband of the victim Maribel, resident of Santa Rosario Heights subdivision in Barangay Junod, State City. During the investigation, the team discovered no traces of evidence that relates or collaborate of the crime, either physical object or forensic. The recovered items were turned over by the SOCOIN under the custody of Valencia MPS. The suspect person of interest is now the custody of the NBI, while parasite soldiers as being redied against him and another complice, possibly his girlfriend, Charina. Further investigation disclosed the victim sustained two lacerated wounds in the head, struck by the hard objects, possibly a gold club, or fighted objects and abrasions in the body. It was also theorized that the bad body of Bella, still in the pond called by the friends, was still in their house in Santa Rosario Heights on Sunday, July 17, 2022, because the helper was refused entry of the house by the husband in saying Bella was in the bow. Two rescue children are the custody of the DSWD Numagete. And the case is now already closed. So if you like my video for today, please do like, share, and leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you everyone and see you again on my next vlog. I don't Bye -bye. wanna say anything. Cause if I do, I might say the wrong words. Oh no.